All right. <laughs> um, that was a really, really long um, intro. Um, not intro, but a wait for the stream to officially start. And that was because as soon as I started it, my boss called. And we were talking about um, some stuff. <laughs> so I couldn't just ignore that. Um, what is going on, everybody? You know me, Peroxide Pick. I know that I'm very inconsistent with my videos, and that's just because um, I normally get caught up in a lot of stuff. But uh, the last few months have been pretty tough. Um, my grandfather passed away, um, and that took a big toll. Um, and then also just recently, um, to say the least, I was very sick. Uh, I got <laughs> I got COVID, and I've been quarantining, which you're like, oh, you got COVID, free vacation. It's not free vacation. All right, you have to worry about your money and you're not working. So then you have to file for unemployment, make sure it's going to be properly going through. But then also, I'm still one of the most knowledgeable people in my company, in my district. So people are still calling me all the time. And then I'm also sick. COVID just it isn't just a blanket thing where you're like, oh, you're positive and that's nothing. I was horridly sick for a few days. Uh, I undoubtedly at one point had a temperature of like over 102. Uh, probably around like 104 where you're supposed to go to the hospital, but I refuse to because I'm stubborn and we didn't have a thermometer. So you're like, oh, he didn't have a high temperature. He just felt really hot. No, this was this was crazy. Um, I never felt that hot before, except for whenever I was a kid and I did have a temperature of 104. Um, so it, it was that bad um, for uh, about two days. My girlfriend is also positive. Um, that's where uh, we're assuming I got it from obviously so we've been quarantining uh today's the first day where we were able to go and go out and do stuff so she's out right now um i'm currently in the office and i figured i wanted to stream do some stuff i have some youtube videos ready and set to go i'm still supposed to be quarantining for a little while longer away from work specifically um public stuff i can go out and do everything but i still have to take my test to um test again to get my positive results to send to work um, which my test isn't until Wednesday, which today is um, Monday. Uh, so another two days and um, I'll be able to get my test. And then by this weekend, I should be back at work. Um, but I'm clear to be able to go out and do stuff. I've done my normal quarantining um, <clears throat> that is required by the CDC. Um, and so then now I'm going to be going to take my test. I'm still pretty much staying at home just because... It's been really nice to stay at home and just kind of relax, but also I think tomorrow maybe I'm going to go out and do stuff. Um, at the very minimum, go on like a walk or something because being ca uh, cooped up inside this house has been pretty rough. Um, apartment, rather. Um, but one thing to say is, is that on the 9th, which is two days from today, uh, from the recording of this video, from this stream, uh, I'm going to be playing Cyberpunk 20. 77 um i believe that's what it is 2077 am i an idiot cyberpunk i'm gonna be playing cyberpunk um because i've been waiting for that game for a long time and out of nowhere uh i've been really you know getting caught up with a bunch of other stuff um out of nowhere uh, i realized that it was coming out the 9th of december so i'm gonna be playing that i'm gonna be streaming it i'm gonna be uploading it to youtube along with my normal um uploads of skyrim um which I'm going to be trying to beast mode through, not really beast mode, but try to just get through this character faster as Bosca has been going on for a while. I think it's been going on longer than um, Boltan. Boltan, I think, hit 40-something episodes. Um, I don't know how long Winrar. Win oh, my God. I can't even remember his name. Um, the Red Guard. I can't remember how long the Red Guard went for. I'm pretty sure his was around 40-ish also. Um, I've already got episode 44 ready to go, and I just posted episode 41 on YouTube earlier today. So, um, undoubtedly, this, uh, season is going to be going, this character, um, streak is going to be going longer than episode 50, uh, undoubtedly. So it's probably going to be one of the longest ones. It's not longer than my original one that I did on YouTube. That one was like episode 80 something. I think it was in almost in the 90s. So it was really long, but I did everything. 
um, which is why I started doing role plays because it really narrows down what you can do and everything. It was a lot more fun. My first one, it was just like a jack of all trades. He wasn't a jack of all trades. He was a king of all trades, and that was off of just um, enchantment and um, enchantment and smithing and alchemy. Just combining those three, you can do anything. You could start off as an archer, but then be a master um, dual wielder. You know, you can do whatever you want. Um, which is why I do role plays now, and I do selective stuff. Usually, always like smithing and enchanting, and some alchemy or something like that. Um, but that's because that's the only way to kind of be able to compete with um, the game now, with all the mods that I have in it, to make it more difficult. Um, my mod list hasn't really been changing. I haven't done anything. Uh, I looked for a few hours last night to see if there was any changes I wanted to do. I'm pretty satisfied with it. So I'm still working on the load order video. I know that's been in the works for a while now, but uh, please don't be that person to be like, oh, it's been in the works for a long time now. But stuff happens, okay? I know, I suck. I should have gotten it done already, but it's coming. Just calm down, it's coming. And the only reason why it's taken a long time is because things have been happening and I'm trying to make it the best that it can be. So now that we're done with all of that and the talking, um, that is going to be part of the episode. Um, so if you want to, you can just skip ahead, you know, obviously. Um, but let's get into it. Um, I need a quick a drink of my Gatorade. Stream title today is, do you know the names of the Gatorades? Um, this is Dark Blue Gatorade. Um, Dark Blue Gatorade. The actual name is Cool Blue. Um, and I know that if you know the names of Gatorades and don't call it by the color that it is, you are a psychopath. Um, so we were right here um, last time. Let's do this one. Good. And remember, keep the cards, and they will keep you. But we have forgotten them. This Battle for the Reach Stormcloaks. Zero plus two banners versus the Legion. Five plus three cohorts. The the die is cast, 8 slash 33, the hold resisted. That's so weird. You can you can do the battles without actually doing them. Like I said, I haven't done this before. Um I haven't done the uh, Civil War. Oh, that dude's naked. I haven't done the Civil War. Um. Yeah, I'm on that. Audio also. I want to turn it down a little bit and turn that down. Just turn everything down a little bit. We 
Empire thinks it holds bulky from us. But the souls of Skyrim's slavers are buried there and will fill our hearts and strengthen our brains. I suspect you'll be of greater use to us with greater freedom. So you're free to engage the Empire. But I also want you to find our hidden camp in Torquay. Kalmar will have special tasks for you and will need you when we liberate. For Skyrim! Soon enough. Hmm. Interesting. So, I tried the reach. Does that mean that we failed? Um... Let's go from Haymar's shame. If, if you are curious as to why I have not gotten the Xbox Series X, um, that is because, um, A, they aren't available, and uh, B, I don't have the money for it. <laughs> uh, Christmas is here, so Christmas presents above everything else. Oh, well, don't you get you one, so, one for yourself? That'll be a nice Christmas present for yourself. Uh, that's not how that works. How it works is I guilt everybody... Where are you at? I guilt everybody by getting them amazing uh, Christmas presents, and then they buy me an Xbox Series X when it comes available, or a Nintendo Switch. I'd really love a Nintendo Switch, especially since the Series X doesn't have any games that are like that have aren't ex that are exclusive to the Series X, you know. All of them are still available on the regular Xbox ones. Okay, I'm here. Hope I don't draw charges. <laughs> Go tell the commander. Oh, why, hello. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Keep your eyes open. Um. I suppose I'll sleep for a while? <clears throat> okay, so he's here now. One lives for the things he is willing. You're going to. They have some of our. I've sent. They'll never. This won't be easy, but that's why. I... Don't screw this up. Oh, it's mm. so I feel like to successfully take a hold without battling in the actual hold battle you have to take enough of the forts that are nearby which is really cool because normally those forts are full of just bandits Maybe they'll have it set so that some forts are claimed by by bandits, but you clearing them out, no, um, but you clearing them out um, gives you um, a advantage in the area just by having troops that are nearby. Did I or did I not clear out this area?
I don't particularly remember. No, I did. Yeah, I definitely did. Um... Now the thing is, how the hell do I get over there? There's an exit right here, that's how you do it. How? How is that? How's their bodies up on the thing? Can I get through here? Is there a way? No, okay. All right. Am I completely blocked? No, I can, I can scale this, right? I can scale this. Ooh, 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 ooh. And come on, up, up, up. Up, and there we go. Aha! I knew I heard something. I forgot that I have this new axe. Um, quick saving, just because. Oh, I'm dumb. I love how I went down through there whenever I could have just walked, turned around, and gone this way. I didn't realize that it was going to be like this. Ah, ha. There they are. I have to admit, this is more fun than I thought it would be. Rilof, how are you? I can't remember the last time I visited. I think I've forgotten what a proper bed looks like, let alone feels like. Do I need to do this? No. Get away from me. Ever wonder if maybe we should call a truce with the Imperials? And join the forces for just a little while to take care of some of these dragons? Who do you think kills more Imperials? Me? Or you? Hey! I don't think Galmar even knows my name. Probably because I'm not the Dragonborn. You're still alive. Yes. I long to be out there. All right, I guess. Um. What's it? Uh, Am I supposed to wait until night? That would make sense. I long. To be out there with my brothers, waging war against the Empire. Ever wonder if maybe we should call with the Imperials and join forces for just a Hello, friend. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. I'll fight the entire Legion myself if they dare show their faces to me. These guys are floating now. Glad. Oh. Hello, friend. I'm on your side. You're st All right, you're stupid. All right, let's go. It's not working right. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna fuck shit up. Okay. I just I just infiltrated this this place. Literally no problem at all. 
they literally had just some rubble leading up to hop up on top of the thing. If I was an archer, this would be crazy easy. Just because I could just snipe them. Oh! Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get wrecked. How about that? He said he's been wounding, wounded worse by pleasure. That's not good. It's not good, buddy. All right, we're not even gonna care about. Sir, please stop. We're not even gonna care about picking up their their loot. Got all the money that I could ask for, and my armor and shit is better than the Imperials have. All right. We're in here. that though sit down I love how easy it is to freaking tear through these guys. Hello. Alright, so that's that way. Poor commander, huh? Wait, what? Uh, ongoing chaos in Helgen has left our supply lines. The controllable tail pass is all but closed due to avalanches in the mountains. We need more support, or our garrison will not withstand another attack. Um, people may complain that um that these Imperials are too weak. Um, they are. Um, but that's on a specific thing, uh, a specific reason. Specifically, um, because they don't get any stronger. I literally have mods in place that will boost all enemies' health in the game, boost their levels, which boost their health and the damage output they do. Also, it gives them the ability to access, um... Uh, skill trees like I can um, um I, I I did take over the fort unless there's some dudes outside um, I have not freed the prisoners oh is it this way But so yeah, th that's that's why um, 
like the these dudes just don't get any stronger so there's nothing to be done about it oh what's that apparently something i've already read um okay so i don't know where the dungeon is More of them somewhere around here. Will do. Okay, so there's more of them around here. Oh, over here. There's the prison. Um. But if you see fighting the Drogar in the Silver Hand specifically, the Silver Hand are literally like next level strong okay okay and down we go shush There's no keys on that. This is a novice lock. You guys can practically just kick this. The guard has the key? Yeah, he can suck my ass. I don't even need a key. All right, I've done it. All right. Well, well done, fellas. Why am I not? There we go. All right, there we go. Great work. Get back and report our success. I'll stay here and clean up the mess. Glad you're here. Couldn't have done we're it without you. out of breath. Hope the supplies get here soon. You'd rather be plowing a field? Not me. Liberated the Fulcreth hold and the Reach. Huh. Maybe I read that thing wrong. I guess we won. Um, excuse me. Thank you. Jesus. Maybe we did win the reach. Hmm. And we just won Falkreath? Because we liberated that one tower? I mean, that tower is technically centrally located. Not centrally loca located. But it, it does create a position where you can block off um, from Whiterun and everything. Um, which we did take Whiterun. So then that created a centrally locating position in all of Skyrim. Gave us an advantage to taking over the Reach. Which then cut off all of... Um, cut off all of the um, Falkreath. Um, which would give us Falkreath. I don't know if Riften is part of our allies already. I don't remember if that's part of the lore. I'm pretty sure they are. <clears throat> the enemy invaded Winterhold. Okay. Alright, what time is it? Yeah, get your ass out here. I'm not going in there for you. I'm proud you liberated Falkreath from the 
Empire. In many ways, it is the heart and soul of Skyrim, not to mention its rather strategic position. Some brothers have taken to calling you Bonebreaker, evidence of your ferocity and determination. Like that. A fitting name. So we shall all call you thus. The war demands so much from us. And we give all we have to it and to the people. But I've carefully got something to offer you in appreciation. Please take this on behalf of all the brothers and sisters. And I need capable and loyal warriors close at hand. So I'd like to offer you a home in Wendhelm. Speak with my steward, who'll make the arrangements. An ebony sword. Get over to our camp in the reach. They need every able body they can muster. Talos guide. I've already liberated the reach, I thought. The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Twelve thousand, sir. There is an empty home in the city, but there was some unpleasantness recently. I'm afraid it's not available just yet. Okay. Travel safely. So we didn't liberate the reach. I was just it it was just being dumb. I'm pretty sure now we can go and fight with ourselves. <laughs> 